Good afternoon, Cameron University. This week in SGA, two new pieces of legislation hit the floor and Senator Tammy Anderson is here to talk about hers. Vice President MacArthur spoke about computer viruses on campus and the Black and Gold Committee will go out this week to paint the town black and gold. All this and more coming up on This Week in SGA. In student government, Vice President MacArthur attended the meeting to talk about computer viruses on campus. All faculty, staff, and students should have received a letter from MacArthur advising all to take precautions while investigating a computer virus on September 7th of this year. The university discovered that some of its network's computers may have been affected by an additional potentially harm harmful computer code. If complete, the virus creates potential for access of computer files by computers outside of the secure network. The university has engaged the help of the University of Oklahoma Data Discovery and Digital Forensic Services to restore security and eliminate potential for outside access. For more information, visit www.cameron.edu backslash ITS backslash FAQ Identity Protection. This week, SGA put two new pieces of legislation on the floor. One of those involves expanding the library hours. CUTV reporter Mitch Watson has the story. Two pieces of legislation were introduced on the floor of SGA this week. One bill concerns extending the hours of operation of the Cameron Library. The bill was introduced by newcomer to SGA, Judith Egbus, who is a center of the School of Education. After Cameron introduced a new policy of reducing the number of Friday classes, the college also cut the hours of operation for the library. The idea behind the cut in hours was that students would not need to study as much on Fridays since there were significantly fewer classes. Senator Egbus says she thinks that hours need to be increased. Okay, the bill I proposed was um, to extend the library hours because on Friday we, the library closed at 6 and on Saturdays too. So I wanted, I wanted them to ex um, extend the hours till 10 o'clock on both days. Egbus says that limited library hours even keep some students from turning in their assignments on time. Oh, most of them actually have to like go to class like one of my friends actually she had to go to class without her assignments because she had a class on Friday and Saturday and then between Friday and Saturday she couldn't use the books in the library to do the research for her class and she had to go back and tell her instructor that it wasn't due and you know you're just behind class you know so you have to wait till the week comes by again and then you're just behind class all the time if you can't get to use the library. Questions asked after the introduction of the bill were limited and were resolved through explanation by the author. Egbus says a real reason for extending the hours of the library was to help the students who have evening classes on Fridays and don't have time to do homework after their class. I have lots of friends in science, especially those who are doing lab classes, those who are doing anatomy classes, they have those classes on Friday. And they have complained to me on numerous occasions that they really wanted to use the library and they couldn't, you know. And then when I got to the legislative co committee and they told me that they wanted to pass the bill, I was like, well, this would be a really good opportunity to do it, yeah. Now that the floor has been introduced to the bill, the new legislation will move into second reading next week. This has been Mitch Watson reporting for This Week in Student Government. The other piece of legislation that hit the floor calls for the creation of parking spaces for expecting mothers. Co-author Tammy Anderson is here to talk more about it. Welcome to the show, Tammy. Thanks for coming today. Thanks. Good so how here. long have you been involved in SGA? Um, I've been involved in SGA since my freshman year, so I'm a junior now, so three years all together. Um, and it's been a lot of fun. I initially joined just to meet new people, and I had no idea that it was kind of like, you know, the state senate um, mm -hmm. how they do things with the legislation pieces and all that so that was really interesting and that's mainly what kept me involved but just wanting to meet new people is what got me into it so so there's a lot of new people involved in SGA and I know that y'all took a lot of time to learn about the parliamentary procedures and everything so how did you feel about that the freshmen picked it up easily I feel that they picked it up really easily this year and I think just because um, we have so many older people that are willing to um, you know walk around and help the other the new freshmen learn um, just like when I was a freshman it was the same way because it can be really overwhelming and really <laughs> confusing so they um, I think Daniel and the rest of the executive board um, printed off like 
a list of all the procedures, mm -hmm. so that really helped. And then also um, all the old people walking around kind of giving help whenever someone raises their hand also. Helped, yeah, so. I think that everyone's doing a really good job teaching all the new people. So let's talk about the legislation. You and historian Kennedy uh, wrote it. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't do so much of helping her write it. It was mainly her idea. Um, we did discuss what we were actually going to put into the le legislation, mm -hmm. but she's the one who actually physically took the time and wrote it out. And um, how she got the idea, I guess um, she just saw one of the expecting mothers mm -hmm. um, kind of huffing and puffing her way along <laughs> campus because she had to park uh, quite a distance from the building she was going to. So that just made her think about it. And then she mentioned it to me, and I said, well, that'd be a good idea. You know, I've seen that in other parking lots, not necessarily other campuses, but for sure other parking lots just within Lawton. So I figured we could give it a try. So we did that. How, how well do you think that the legislation were, was received on the floor by everyone? It was kind of hard to tell um, if how many people are in favor of it, but I got the vibe that it's, it, well, I know for sure it, it struck a lot of controversy just mm -hmm. because we have a, a two-minute question to the author um, session, and that was extended numerous times. Um, so there were more and more people having questions about that. So I know at least people are interested in it. Whether or not they are going to pass it is, I'm not sure, but... So it goes into second reading next week, and what's one thing you would want to tell the senators and representatives to get them to pass it? It seemed like a lot of the senators and representatives were kind of unsure about how many parking spots we were going to be taking to actually do this, but I guess I'd just make sure to like re reiterate that it's only going to be 18 spaces total, okay. two spaces from each main parking lot on mm -hmm. campus. So it's mainly just a trial, error, trial and error basis, and so we'll see how it works if it's passed, and if it doesn't work that well, who's to say we can get rid of it? So just keeping that in mind that it's just kind of a trial. Well, good luck with that, and um, I hope that it does pass for you. We'll see how it goes next week. Do you have any other ideas for legislation coming up this year? I don't um, particularly, ha particularly have any in mind. We did do that brainstorming session mm -hmm. one of the first times we actually met, so I'd be happy to maybe even co-author or maybe even take another piece um, of legislation on by myself, but I'd probably have to just go to a legislation meeting to get mm -hmm. an idea about what to actually write it over, so I'm sure there's something out there. Well, we'll see what happens next week and then the rest of the year, and thank you so much for coming on the show today. You're welcome. <laughs> The Black and Gold Committee is scheduled to paint the town black and gold on Friday, November 6th and Thursday, November 12th at 2 p.m. Those interested in participating should wear black and gold and meet in the Student Activities Building. For more information, visit www.cameron.edu slash paint the town. That's all the time we have left in today's show. Tune in next week for more news from the Student Government Association. Please be sure to check out CUTV on YouTube by going to youtube.com and searching CU Internet TV. On behalf of everyone here at CUTV, and for This Week in SGA, I'm Amanda Finch.